please welcome Tillman Fertitta. Thanks for joining us, taking hey. time out of your very, very busy schedule. It's great to, I love coming to the gallery during the Christmas holidays. Right? right? I mean, it's so empty. <laughs> exactly. So listen, we are so glad you're here. We know you have a very busy schedule. Tell us about the show. You know, it's great. You know, it's fun. It's, you know, you do a lot of different things in life, and uh, it's just something else to do, and uh, I needed to fill some time, so I said, I'll go spend four months a year doing this. But, but uh, you know, it's great because it's it's the big guy helping the little guy, and you're yeah. mentoring these young companies, and, and, uh, and at the end of every show, I either buy for one, both, or none, and, 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 and you're giving them a chance. You're giving them that big order that kind of takes them to the next level. When the show is on CNBC, I got to ask you, when they asked you to do the show, what was your initial reaction? Were you gung-ho, ready to jump in? Yeah, they, they had been talking to me for years about a show, uh, this production company and CNBC, and I really didn't like any of them, but they came up with this idea, and I knew it would run on CNBC, so it's a business show, and it's graphics, and... And it's a, it's a just a little bit of drama, but it's more mentoring and, and showing these people how to grow their business. So when, when we sh kind of shot a test, I said, I can do this, okay? But I want to see what y'all do with the edit, okay? Because I can be a son of a gun, but I don't want it on camera. <laughs> but it's really good. They make me look even better than I am, I think. <laughs> now, something that surprised me, you told me during the commercial break that this process of shooting this show was actually very stressful for you. And given how busy you are, and that you zip around from city to city and you're so busy right here in Houston. What was it about the show that stressed you out? You know, what people don't realize is, is that it's not a camera following you around. You, everything is a scripted, outline scene. You might not have every word down, but we're shooting this scene at this location because we're not a studio show. You know, think about if you were shooting this somewhere else in the country, you know, yeah. every show, or you were moving around to six or seven locations for every hour. Yeah, so you're okay. out on location. So, it's so not like you have to build we, we the whole location. You're not in your office. <laughs> and if you watch the show, you're dealing with two different companies, usually in different cities, and each one is in three or four different scenes. So it's it's the pickup, it's the waiting time, it's the traveling. Uh, you know, just to get to 40 minutes, you're shooting 50 hours, but it's but it's all the time waiting to shoot and after the shoot. And, and so it's more of just the time and you're trying to run your company, you're say, trying I, to help out the University of Houston, yeah. you're trying to help out the Police <laughs> Foundation, Houston's Children's Charity, you know, so that, that's, that's where at the end of the 12th episode, I was done. I was, let's get this scene over. But let's somehow, I, over. but you made it through, obviously, and you, and you still have all these other projects. So yeah. how does everything, how does the machine stay running? It just, you know, great people, number one. Uh, the, it's a huge company, and I have a lot of great vice presidents that have been with me for many years. That what gives me the ability. And, uh, I mean, it, it is fun. I mean, I'm the only guy that has a television show that you get to see his brands every week, you know, True. on the show. And they pay me to do it. So, <laughs> so, so how, you know, how it's you fun. It, though? I mean, I mean you know, you're running a huge business as well. So 15, 16, 18 hour days are pretty common for you is what I'm thinking. Yeah, but I'll, but I'll tell you this, what the show's done. I am meeting with some unique, great companies that are very edgy, that have the next product. And so it's really gotten me out like it did 30 years ago and shows me, gosh, this is really interesting to look at this new product and, and just to see what all the young people and everybody is doing. Can you get the premise for folks that may not have seen the show? Give them a little premise, a little synopsis of what it's about. Well, you're just, you're, you're meeting two young companies that, that are successful but not successful. They, they, they haven't gotten to the next level. Maybe you need marketing, maybe you need this. And, and, uh, and, and then at the end of the show, they either help make the changes that I ask them to do, or they don't, and if they don't, maybe I buy from them, maybe I don't. And, huh. and, and it, it's, it's interesting, and you have a boardroom scene, and there's a little drama, but it's, uh, it's a good show because it moves so fast, and it's always an interesting product. And, and who would think that I buy everything from bikinis to drains <laughs> for hotels to, to and lipstick? And that you're just a good you know, old boy from Galveston Island. Right, from exactly. Galveston, Texas. <laughs> and that's one of the things we love about you because we know your backstory. You grew up, your dad had a restaurant, right? Just, and you were shelling shrimp yeah, in yeah, the back? Yeah, yeah. So just, do you think part of the reason why you are so invested in giving back to other people or entrepreneurs who show promise is because of your own personal you know, upbringing? I, absolutely. I'm an entrepreneur who grew my business the hard way, one stick at a time, 
you know, I, I, I wasn't smart enough to be a tech guy that you wake up and you're worth a billion dollars. <laughs> it took me a lot of years and, and building a lot of sticks and bricks and, and making and having a lot of failures along the way. And, and but, but I always got my hands dirty. Even today, I can go walk through a casino and if I see a, a gum wrapper, I pick it up. But you know what? That's why you see all my people do it, and that's why you see all of our places clean. Because it's just you start at the top, you build a culture, and, and people like the culture at Landry's. Do you, ever, do you ever have that moment of just sitting back and going, whoa, I started from this point, and now all of these other families you know, are dependent on you and, and your companies? Uh, yeah, every now and then, but you know, it happened so gradual for me. You know, it, it started, you know, 35 years ago, and so, so, but yes, do I look back and say, gosh, I have 60,000 people working for me in uh, 40 a- states and seven or eight countries, and, and uh, yeah, you know, when you think about it, it is a big payroll, I can tell you that in a couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, that's sure. a lot a of payroll. people. It's a big payroll. <laughs> but Tillman, aside from the huge business successes, you've had in your life. You and your wife, Paige, are also very philanthropic. You host, you know, some charity events at your home. And I want to read this quote from Houston Children's Charity. They said, no one in our city has done more to support and enhance our charity than Tillman. (gasps) So how does that make you feel? You know, it's great. God has been very good to me. The city of Houston has been very good to me. So you just have to step up. And and that's why I do a, a lot of what we do is because... That's what we're supposed to do. And I love being involved with the University of Houston. I love being involved with Houston Children's Charity, the Police Foundation, and lots of other charities in Houston. But those are my main three, and, and it, it's, it, it's great to give back. It's Let, great to get back. Let's talk about your Cougars, because you were just involved with picking Major Applewhite to be the next coach. That, that's kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> It's interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was I was in New York last week and having to do some interviews up there and some here and uh, you know the, the the president Couture and and Hunter and and our committee we, we did a lot of due diligence and when it was all over with Major was the right guy. Yeah. I mean Major Applewhite's going to do a great job. We're going to get great continuity at the University of Houston and he, he's a brand that people know in Texas. Great for recruiting and uh, we're gosh you know at, he's he has a game this week though. That's what's amazing. We have a game Saturday in Las Vegas, so uh, we'll test him out real quick. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Tell us about your casino. You know, I have five casinos, the Golden Nugget. We have one right here by Houston that yeah. uh, a lot of guys and girls go to from yeah. around here, and it's, it's a gorgeous property. You know, it's, it was fun to, uh, to do that property this close to Houston, and, and, and I love people stopping me and saying, gosh, I went to your casino yesterday or last weekend, and you know, it was just great. We had a great time. We didn't win any gambling? money. I want them to say we didn't win any money. <laughs> I don't want them to say, oh, and I we beat your brains you a in. Lot of money. I didn't beat your brains in. You beat ours in. <laughs> Do you think we'll see gambling legalized here one day? You know, one day. You know, everything happens eventually, but I don't see it anytime soon. Anything new you're adding to your plate? You know, we're building the Post Oak Hotel right there right, next yeah. to my office and a new tower in Lake Charles and bring in, you know, building probably 20 restaurants around the country next year. But uh, How uh, about two weeks of sleep for you at some point around right, Christmas? Right. <laughs> get rid of this cough. I need to get rid of this cough. And Tillman, lastly, any advice you would have to a young entrepreneur out there who wants to one day follow in your footsteps? Hey, no fear. You can't have fear and uh, just be uh, passionate. Uh, know what you don't know, though. Don't, don't go get a friend that knows what you know if they're your partner. Know what you don't do, know, have no fear, and have lots of passion, and just keep pounding, because I've made a lot of mistakes along the way. Words know to what you don't know. All right. Such great advice. Tillman Fertitta, thank you so thank much you for guys. stopping by. And remember, you can catch Billion Dollar Buyer on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. on CNBC. And